Hey, hey, you know, come back to the reality mill. Yes, this is our first. Yeah, this is not. Yeah, I can say this is like the first mission, right? Yes, this is the first mission that is. Uh, what we get from the. Uh, yeah, I can say Timer Guy. Uh, Guild or something like that. <laughs> yeah, from the Azurong Mon. That, that, that's the nice one, right? I mean, I think if I said, uh, uh, you know, Guide or maybe Guild or maybe. <laughs> Or maybe guild master, I think it's gonna turn out something different game. So here it is. Our mission is to get one Digimon. Okay, to get dig one Digimon is pretty hard actually, you know. It's not that easy actually. It's not something like, you know, maybe like the other game that you just have to throw a thing and then you get that immediately at that place. No, you have to get the data. I mean, this is basically a data game, right? So that makes sense actually, I can say. Yeah, I kind of forgot about this one actually. <laughs> Okay, so we have to battle against this Gaburimon, so uh, we can help them. This Gaumon and this, uh, what? I uh, forgot the name of this Digimon. Okay, okay, I'm gonna talk about this later. I think it's gonna be hard actually to know it from these things anyway, but I know about uh, the basic game. Okay, as you can see, ah, uh, you see? This is the basic uh, battle too actually. As you can see, in this place, this is our uh, turn actually. After, the, uh, the first time is ours. Once uh, you attacking, now Gaburimon is to take a turn. And then me, and then Gaburimon again, and then me, and then my turn again. So, it represents this one actually. Of course, this is can be changed actually, especially, you know, maybe something like a status problem happen. So, that's the thing actually. The R move, what is this move? Oh, okay. Well, this move is something really important actually, but later. Once you, you know, maybe get more than uh, one Digimon, maybe. Okay, as you can see, this chart has uh, zero MP. Yeah, this is a zero, actually. It looks like eight, right? And then eight effect. This effect is represent the power, actually. So, I don't know. I don't think it's going to hurt eight, right? Yeah, you see? It's not eight, but... Yeah, I don't know what is that eight means, but... The point is, that is the power. The power number. So, if you see there are more than, you know, other move that is... Uh, uh, the power is more bigger, that's the chance. Okay, as you can see, that Gaburimon is a beast type actually. Yeah, I told you that they are, every Digimon has their own type actually. And this Gaburimon giving us HP ship and this is beat and foot. This uh, yeah, beat is good for our uh, experience and foot is, uh, is good for our uh, stock in the DG farm actually. So it's gonna talk about that later. Talking about the type, I kind of forget actually, you know, like what is the weaknesses. There are actually some weaknesses, so there are something like good or not actually, but it's not really that seen uh, a lot actually. Yeah, it's not really that uh, seen a lot actually. Like, oh, uh, the beast type uh, move is gonna be so good against uh, what? Uh, for example, like uh, insect and plant. For example, like uh, for example, like that. It's not really that different but it is make uh, impact actually yeah but it doesn't even tell anything about that actually maybe in that option maybe yes I don't know how I can get actually but I think it's like based on the uh, you know uh, the plot of the game so yeah, I get one actually already. <laughs> I didn't even uh, meet with one Digimon actually in the wild. That Gaburimon one is not count as you can see. If you uh, back again to uh, you know a couple seconds before, you know that Gaburimon data scan is like unknown actually. Well, I'm gonna talking about that later because the first of first, since it's like still in the beginning, beginning, you have to follow the basic basic thing okay now we have to go to the digi farm since we already get the you know one or uh, hundred percent scan data of the digimon now we can get the digimon actually that's a good one okay the digi farm is in here okay now the kalumon is already the kalumon is the one that you know it's not tech responsible but 
this Digimon is the one that you know taking care of our all farm farm thing actually yes this DG DG farm is something that is truly unique but at the same time it's pretty uh, something new and then there are a lot of things you have to learn too actually for example yeah they are DG convert and then they are yeah this DG convert you can only DG convert in here actually they are also called a DG bank DG bank is for all of the Digimon you get actually so once you convert that uh, data Digimon until they are 100 uh, percent now they will take uh, now they will put in the digibank digibank is unlimited so that's a good one i think it's unlimited isn't it i think there are no limits so that's a good one but let's check again i don't think there are some limit actually so uh but yeah this is the thing actually you know because if you want to get the digimon you have to get them in a uh, 100 percent scan data so that's the problem oh another azulon one Yeah, this DG farm is such a good place for your Pokemon to raise their uh, stat actually. I mean... Uh, hmm? Okay, that is another... Uh, this is the second mission already. Love to find Gabumon in the last location. Okay, now let's give him name. Since my name is just Aldi only, so let's give him a uh, meal, okay, and then done. Okay, so here it is. Now, you see there are a lot of things actually in here. There are farm status. Well, I told you, there are more than one farm actually can get actually in here. Like, why my name is Mill Farm? <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> I don't think you can turn it out like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> can I change the name? I don't know. Okay, I just have one right now, of course. Well, let's... Uh, yeah, this friendship is represents something too actually. Friendship point is the main problem actually, and also the stress. Friendship uh, point is really hard to boost because, yeah, it's not really that hard. So I already walk a lot actually with the Coromon, and it's not even, you know, more than one, uh, more than one again. Okay, as you can see, Poyomon is already 100% scanned. It means now you can get a Poyomon. Yeah, I kind of forget actually what happened if you get, you know, maybe like uh, 100, you know, maybe like 200 percent, yeah, you know, you can get more than 100 percent actually, but I don't know what happened. If you get 200 percent, for example, uh, am I gonna get two Poyomot, or maybe I just gonna get one, I, don't, I kind of forget actually about that, but here it is, now Poyomon is born. Once Poyomon is, uh, you know, extract from the data like this, just like I said before, Poyomon will uh, will put in the Digibank. Just like usual, you have to give a name. Oh god, I told you I'm not really good at giving name. Like, why this is still happening? <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna call Zay maybe. Because this Poyomon, I think, is a fish, isn't it? But, uh, you see, there are fish uh, mark in there. Yeah, there are a lot actually of this thing. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, right? My uh, Zay is in the Digibank. You can put this Zay in the Digi Farm instead, or maybe you can put in the in the your party. But you know, if you want to put it in the farm, I mean it's already in the bank. So, so there are just two uh, ways. You can put in the farm or maybe in the party. If you put this uh, Digimon in the party, anything in your farm, it will boosting their experience even without doing anything. Actually, they just. They're just gonna play in your farm, so that's why they're gonna raise their stat and everything. But of course, it's not gonna be that easy actually, because as you can see, this train, yeah, this train is something related with the uh, building that in the left side from this place actually. And that is, okay, let's go there first. Because uh, there are something like call goods, you know, well, I can say it's something like a training item or something like that. So, you have to buy a lot of things actually, for example, like this scale. This girl is boosting 3 HP. This is boosting 1 HP. So they are more than one, uh, more than like that actually. But why this is so expensive? Oh my god. I cannot even buy one actually of this thingy. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. This is different thing actually. You know, spirit, speed, and then defense, attack, HP, MP. So you can install this thing into your farm. So 
your Pokemon in, in the farm will gain their power actually by themselves. Talking about the item, uh, you know, the item item like this, for example, this is boosting some, uh, you know, their insect or plant or beast or machine, uh, yeah, uh, their type power actually. So it means if you using, uh, you know, for example, like uh, Aquan move, it will much more uh, damage actually. Also, this is kind of related with, uh, you know with the uh, evolution thingy actually because there are some you know this is something that uh unique actually about digimon digimon thing because for example uh our zay zay or poyomon is a fish uh type you can see that they are fish marked right once you see their uh once you see uh uh digimon status and even though that this digimon is a fish it doesn't mean it's gonna turn out fish Digimon until they, you know, until they raise their class to the Mega Evolution. Actually, it can be changed into, you know, maybe like a Dragon type or something like that. Yeah, it can be happen like that actually. So, and there are some of the, you know, uh, of that, uh, and you know, if you want to evolve your Digimon, you have to fulfill the condition needed actually. Well, mostly it's talking about level actually. So once you you know, uh, once your Digimon is reached to the level, uh, to the certain level, now you can evolve this Digimon. But there are also some, you know, situation that wanting your Digimon to evolve, uh, you know, needed a uh, dragon uh, power, uh, dragon stat. Even though that Digimon is a uh, what, you know, a fish uh, type like Poyamon, for example, you can check on the status actually overall. I kind of forget actually about how I can check the status actually. Well, you know, I think I can learn it later. I kind of forget about this place actually. I think this is kind of related with the battle battle thing, but I kind of forgot actually. Oh, I cannot enter this place because I'm still a normal timer. I, I told you this. I think this is something related with the uh, battle battle thing actually, but I don't know how much I you know how much rank I need to enter this place actually. Okay, this place is the item and uh, weapon and thingy shop actually you can buy other item item thingy actually oh i just can get i just can buy some hp and mp medicine well as you can see uh, as you can see right now in here it means this mp chip as is just boosting one digimon only actually and this is, it means you can get two actually uh yeah this is represent the move uh the move that in the battle actually so this is really Overall, actually, what is this cough thing? Oh, this is for the status problem. This is paralyzed. This is poison, and then this is for the sleeping. Why cough? What is cough? Oh. oh okay. What is this place? Oh, look, there are some items in there. Oh, I get MP chip. Thank you. <laughs> oh, if you see something like a box like that, open it. Okay, so I think that's for now. Thank you for watching. Thanks, time.